Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying a Connie's Chicago's Finest since 1963. This is a cheese pizza. This is a classic thin crust pizza. It was $6.49 at Meyer, And so I'm going to go ahead and open it now before I flip it over. Uh, you want to preheat your oven to 425 degrees. There it is. It comes in plastic. And it does not have um, a piece of cardboard at the bottom. So you'll have to have like a cutting board or something like that to, to uh, cut it on. But you want to uh, bake it, place it on the center rack, bake it for 18 to 20 minutes. Uh, so I'm going to go for the full 20 minutes because we like ours darker. And then we'll be back. So this is the pizza after the full 20 minutes. It is a golden brown. It looks good. I think it looks delicious. So Connie's Pizza is distributed by Palermo in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Yeah, they do Screaming Sicilian and what was the other one? Urban Pie. Urban Pie. Yeah. Um, <coughs> they do a bunch of them. Yeah, uh, they, yeah, it's amazing how many pizzas are coming out of that same place. Yeah. Um, but it says... It's a different recipe, I'm sure, for each one. Oh, but, yes, yeah. different recipe. They, uh, I remember <coughs> when we uh, toured the Screaming Sicilian factory, they told us that each pizza place has their own recipe for mm -hmm. their sauce and stuff. Yeah, they just they just happen to be the, the manufacturer. They have the equipment to do the stuff. Right. So this says, born in Chicago, Connie's is more than just a frozen pizza. It's a legacy of tradition and quality. What started as a small storefront pizzeria on the south side of Chicago has turned into a nationally known pizza brand. Since 1963, we've been crafting the best possible pizza with an unrivaled passion. From Chicago to your table, Connie's always delivers. Authentic pizzeria taste. If you're looking for a restaurant quality frozen pizza, you've found it with Connie's. Our classic thin crust is dusted with cornmeal for texture and crunch. The signature sauce is made from a family recipe that's been passed down for generations. The premium high quality toppings are all natural, delivering the best ingredients in every slice. A final hint of herbs tops every pizza for a flavorful taste. Pro tip, for a true Chicago pizzeria experience, cut the pizza in squares. Connie's Frozen Pizza is the ultimate choice for pizzeria flavor at home. I tell you why I don't want to cut it in squares. I'll show you the front. The reason why I personally don't want to cut it in squares is because you're going to get those middle pieces with no crust, with no uh, uh, edge. edge piece. I want the edge piece. I want the edge piece on every piece because it's easier to hold. Some people the, might like those middle pieces. Those middle pieces are harder to hold oh, though, no. I think. Uh, the calories are really good on this. Mm -hmm. uh, a fourth of the pizza is 320 calories. Yeah, that's not bad. So, yeah. Well, 640 for half is what we do anyway. Yeah, really good. So, this has a little bit of garlic, basil. Ooh, I feel the bottom of the crust. It's bumpy. Oh, yeah, that's that cornmeal that yeah. we're talking about. Okay. Hmm. I should have told you, cheese pizza, 100% real mozzarella, Parmesan, and Romano. Hmm. The classic Italian cheeses. <laughs> mm -hmm. That crust is different. It's a little, mm -hmm. I won't say it's hard, it's tougher mm -hmm. than some of the other pizzas we have. Um, it's crunchy, but it's tougher to chew. Yes. So between this crust and home run in, I prefer the home run in crust. Mm -hmm. The home run in crust also has a yeasty flavor to mm -hmm. it. And um, 
I'm not getting that from this. Mm -hmm. uh, but I do I, like the cornmeal in there though. It I, does add a little bit of texture to it. The, uh, the sauce is a sweeter sauce. Yeah, I'm here crunching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, the sauce is a sweeter sauce than some of the other. It's not a really, I mean, it's got spices to it, of course, but it's more of a sweeter tomato flavor than, a, than the more spicy ones are. The most recent one pizza reviews that you all would have watched would have been our, I think, our home run in pizza reviews. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm comparing these to those. And a lot of you, a lot of the same people that said home run in is one of my favorite pizzas, they also said they really liked Connie's pizza. Um, honestly, um, I like this, but after mm -hmm. trying the home run in and then this, that surprises me that those people feel that way. Mm -hmm. Because for me, it's a very clear, there's a very clear winner. Mm -hmm. The home run in, um, I like that yeasty flavor. The, the cheese. cheese. Yeah, you can really taste the cheese. You can taste the cheese. The cheese mm -hmm. is thick. It is a, a strong flavor Of course, cheese. the calories are a lot more. The calories are more, but this is a thin crust. That's true. The Okay. The only home run in that we have seen in our area, I know they make thin crust. We only have access right now while I'm filming this to the classic crust. Mm -hmm. That's all we can get. If there ever comes a time where they bring the thin crust home run in to Kentucky, we will absolutely give them a yeah. try. Yeah. But so we can only compare the home run in classic crust to this Connie's thin crust. Right. And I can tell you cheese crust everything the home run in it, it stomps this all the pieces I yeah I, I think so too this yeah. tastes more like a I hate to say it because they're about the same price honestly uh, this tastes like a cheaper pizza to me mm -hmm. yeah kind of like you get the or is it Tony's pizza mm -hmm. or the those kind of it kind of reminds me of that kind of pizza although I do like the crust in this better than those cheaper pizzas mm -hmm. but um but this kind of reminds me of that kind of sauce it's a sweeter sauce and stuff really reminds you of a cheaper pizza. Yeah, it uh, to me, it, I'm, I'm honestly really shocked because so many people have recommended this pizza. Yeah. And it makes me, I know a lot of the pe people that did recommend it have tried both. It makes me wonder if some of the people who've tried this not tried the home run in now. Yeah. Um, and maybe they've only tried this because I think once you have that home run in cheese pizza, you would never go to this ever. No, again. not if you had a choice. No, 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 no. no. Um, of course, this is the cheese. Mm -hmm. So we've got other we ones have that have meat. Yes, um, yes. It, the flavor might be elevated a little bit, but absolutely. Uh, meats, but yeah, it might be a lot better when we get to the meats. But, but just but for this to be a cheese pizza, it's not very cheesy. No, I the agree. The cheese flavor is not very strong. No, it not compared to those home runs. No, it doesn't come through. It's just honestly, it's bland. It's mm -hmm. very, it very like, bland for a cheese pizza. Yeah, what, what I'm getting is the crust, kind of cornmeal kind of uh -huh. crust flavor, and the sauce. That's what yeah. I'm tasting. And honestly, if given the choice between the cornmeal crust and a different crust, I would choose Regular a different bread crust. crust. Yeah, I, I, the cornmeal crust, it's okay, but I prefer just a regular crust over that. Yeah, I agree. So, so you'll have to let us know your thoughts. Like we said, we have we have like three more to try. I think we bought four in total. Mm -hmm. uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.